All right, it's week 12. It is the last of the week ahead videos. So, it's gone from soon to now. The end is really near. And this is the last chance week. And it's also it's the closeout. So, here's the things. On-demand lectures. This is talking about the future and how to adapt to the future. And a bit of a recap over some of the things we didn't engage with in the subject and reasons why we didn't engage with them. Uh, this is something that we made some very intentional decisions about how the subject was designed. And this is some of the explanations at the end. The live events. The remaining two seminars. Monday night and Tuesday afternoon. The tutorials. All of the events were on close out mode. So it's a chance to have one more time to see the crew that you've been running with for the season. A chance to ask any last questions you have of myself or Alex with regards to the ePortfolio and have a bit of a chat about e-marketing, the future, what, what happens next and some of the ways to think about the what happens next. So your task list for the week. Close it all up on the forums. If you have open threads, go back in see if there's any last remarks to make, if there's any summary, close up, finish off, finalizations, even thank yous to the people who are involved. Closing it up. On the Padlet, we have one last Padlet left for people to go play with and please avail yourself of it. Uh, there's a few reflective questions there and might as well finish it off strong. There are two last things that I'm going to ask people to do. We have the Nominator Mate Championship Edition. You get one vote for someone in the subject who is your outstanding contributor. The person who's been your person that has helped, supported, and been there as a leader, as a, a person that you want to recognize. So... This will be the championship edition. We're not doing it as a bracketed voting tournament because that takes forever. But also, it's the last chance to nominate a match. And finally, you will see in week 12, there is the performance and engagement self-review. Please fill out the performance and engagement self-review. This tells me where to focus my attention when I am grading your... 20 points, when I'm assigning your 20 points for participation and engagement, the self-review guides me. It tells me what you see as your strength area, so I know to look to there. If you go in there and say, hey, I'm pretty ace at Padlets, and you haven't done a thing in the Padlet, well, that's going to go badly for you. But if you have been absolutely smashing it out of the park in the forums, uh, but because of circumstances, you haven't been able to make a seminar or a tutorial, please let me know. I should be paying attention to the seminar, paying attention to the forums and skipping the seminars on the scorecard. That's what it's about. You are giving me one last set of guidance. And as you see, time and time again, I, when I go to the audience to ask for stuff, I mean it. I'm genuine about if I want that intel, I'll ask you for it. Also, in regards to things, uh, in the forum, you will see that there is a question, there's a thread that I've opened about the feedback people might want to get from towards their e-performance reviews. Uh, I've done, I'm starting to do the voice feedbacks. If there's anything specific people can come up with and go and say, hey, it would be really useful if I got feedback on this, and this would help me in the future. Uh, because it is one of the last tasks in a subject, it doesn't have a, unlike the ETA, which had a very clear target, uh, EPR has less of a clear target, so basically it's a case of, if you can think of what would work for you, let me know. All right, so the last thing is, we're going to close out the subject. It's time to close out strong. Let's talk about the final phase. Weeks 12, exam week 1, exam week 2. Whole box and dice has a due date, has a... Internally for me, I've got to get everything done by the 17th. I would like to have everything wrapped by the 14th, which means I'd like 
where at all possible, to the best of your ability and current circumstances and interventions of external uh, factors, if we could all have it done and dusted, submitted to me around the 8th, that would be great. So let's talk about each individual phase, what's left to do. When you are satisfied that you have done the self-review and you've finished all the participation you want to do, you've done on your padlets, you've done your last forum posts, you've said farewell on the closeout thread, press the submit button on the participation assessment task and then I know to start doing the grading. There is a hard internal deadline date for that, but please just tell me when you're done. That way I know, draw a line in the data set. The marking for the EPR, it is underway at the moment and we're going to try and turn this around within our reasonable time frames. For those of you who have used the delayed submission, that is coming in this Thursday. Uh, obviously, you are you had to trade off something. Uh, so if the EPRs are marked and back to the main group, then they get to start on either the power play or the last chance salon, and they start ahead of you. And that's a trade off for having a delayed submission. Delay submissions, I'm going to try to mark them as fast as possible because I'm going to want to get them done because I have a very busy Halloween weekend and that's why it's due on the Thursday. So I can get it marked on the Thursday through to the Friday. And then I'm busy. And then I'll come back to, if I haven't got it done before Halloween hits, I will be starting after the weekend. I'll be doing the marking after the weekend. Power play and last chance will stay to their current fixed dates because it's there's too much mucking about otherwise. Uh, this also does say that uh, if you have if you do miss the next EPR submission deadline, the delayed submission, uh, you are basically in the last chance salon. That's the only way you're getting forward is you're submitting an assignment in the last chance salon. ePortfolio. The version 3 guidelines are up on the Waddle site. Please cross-check, reread, look at the expectations. I will continue to tell you that one of the parts of the assessment task, one of the learning experiences embedded in this assessment task is getting to use the Mahara platform and go, how do I self-teach? How do I bring myself up to speed to create the thing I want to create. We don't use templates, we don't use exemplar files, we don't use prior years, we don't use anything that's going to potentially take away your creativity. So I want to reiterate here is the reason why none of those things are in place is that part of the assessment task, both in terms of weighting and grading, but also lived experience and the educational experience is you are being given the opportunity to shape this how you see fit. So I am putting some faith in you and I'm putting the trust on you because you've had a semester to look at the world of the internet and you've got the design tools, you've got the Canva tools, you've got your own skill sets, you've got your own got whatever the heck your phones are armed with, you've got the people who've been running the Instagrams have got tools, the people who've been running the uh, TikToks have got equipment. you all got this stuff. Go use it again one last time. Bring the portfolio together. Use the toys, the techniques and the toolkits that you've got at your disposal to make the Mahara system do something interesting. And you'll get this reiteration and you'll get this advice a couple of times during the week as well. The submission for the portfolios takes place in Wattle. You submit it through the Wattle link. If it goes wrong, I'll help you fix it, but please, let's try and minimize the amount of go wrong there. It's potentially going to happen. All right, so finally, last thing to say is thank you. It's been an awesome semester. We have had another semester of 
unexpected, weird outcomes. We had camera go into lockdown. We had all sorts of things take place across the world, across the universe, and across the city. Uh, I've got people scattered about the planet doing this subject. And you know what? You came together as a crew. You ran as a pack. I know the whole sections of the cohort that spent good half a semester staring at me going, why are you asking us to do what you're asking us to do? Which is fair enough. I, I, I get that. I understand that. But equally, there's a whole bunch of things that I want to draw your attention to just to recap. At the last, take the last couple of minutes to say this. You got involved. The forums run hot. The creativity that's been shown through hype the tutorials and the opening graphics for the day walkers, the night stalkers, and the shadow hawkers. You embraced your team identities. You ran with that team identity. You supported each other. You break out rooms, you supported each other, you guided each other, you talked, you shared. You came back to the main, you talked, you shared. You gave me good ideas. You gave me moments where I'm like, well, okay, I'm going to have to really think my way around this. Appreciate that. We did a lot. We pushed a lot. We challenged a lot. We took on a lot of different things. And I've learned a lot again. Uh, this is the second iteration of the course in this mode, and I've got a whole bunch of notes about what I want to do next season. But beyond that, there's been a lot of the stories behind the screen. And one of the reasons no one animated exists is that I want to recognize that stuff takes place outside the classroom behind the screen. But I also want to take a moment to say that I've heard a lot of stories from you. I've heard what you've gone through this semester. I've heard the challenges that you've faced. And this hasn't been an easy one. You've risen to it. And look, I'll be blunt about my subject as well. So on a regular basis, it's not an easy place to run. I'll throw you in the deep end. I expect you to have fast twitch reactions. It's like, hey, here's this brand new thing you've never seen before. Go use it, then come back to me and tell me about it. And I've done that to you week and week in. And you responded, and you've risen to it, and you've been faced with these challenges. And the world's been a, the lockdowns put a lot of you under pressures that you shouldn't have to have ever faced, but you have, and you've gone through it, and you've come through it. So this is a shout out to you as a cohort. So MKTG 2032 2021. It has been an honour to run. It has been a hell of a good semester. You got one more week of live action stuff. Go make Alex's tutorial something legendary. And I'll see you one last time in the seminars.